Good evening, my friends. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Here tonight, we are uh, with my buddy here, um, Bosman. See? Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. And his brother is over there sleeping. And, yeah, you know, I cannot have them together because they will fight. Uh, they have different uh, personalities, but they will fight. Uh, <laughs> at a drop of the dime, because uh, he, he they have uh, different ways of acting. He will be up front and be uh, all, all about it. He will uh, be cool until the the dime drops. Then he will, he will go real quick. So I'd rather not de deal with that situation. Oh, come on, guy. Uh, and um, let me go through. All right, I'm just putting things over there so he's chilled and, and, and oh, but he's eating fast. So uh, these guys are 11 months old right now. Uh, again, um, I so for some people that assume that I sold dogs, I did not sell any of my dogs. I repeat, I did not sell any of my dogs. I either I either have them, my family has them, or associates have them, but no one. Paid for the dog. The bolt, the most they did is pay for transportation, but no, nobody. No, as a matter of fact, you guys could see the video of one of the females that I, I sent to um, down south. I'm gonna use case down south. I don't know if I mentioned that where what state they're in, but down south, and she's a she's a, a lovely dog that is making our family happy. She's that she's that personality. I told her, I told the, the family was going to um, be a, um, more than likely a very mellow dog. It's something I wasn't, uh, so uh, as I remind you guys, I, I'm, I'm giving the dog, my calls away. That's my idea of how, uh, and obviously the calls would be dogs that are, I can find an appropriate family for, or appropriate owner. It doesn't have to be a family. Uh, but uh, that, I, like, that a person that's looking for, he when he does that, uh, um, a, a person or family looking for certain traits or, or personality traits, or you know, and if I have a person, a dog that with that same personality or very similar personality, then I, I can match those two, and more than likely we we'll have a, a, a happy, a happy family or a happy connection. So anyway, let's talk about the reason of this video. The reason for this video is uh, about uh, our breeding. Is breeding of American people terriers, or for short, pit bulls, uh, breeding by people. The reason why this breed is going to perdition, is going down, is going, it, 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 it breeding destroying the breed. And I'll say no, absolutely not. And the only a few only the only few people that say things like that that they are selling animals they are selling dogs so they are trying to make sure that um, people don't breed so they can go back to him to that kennel and get more at a high price because the person's painting them as elite dogs which is ridiculous it's like again this is this dog. Has nothing, nothing to do with um, that individual. But and, and, uh, like I said, his dog is eleven months old. The other one is eleven months old, and they have nothing to do with the, uh, his bloodline, which is, doesn't have a bloodline. But anyway, the reason I, I I'm trying to concentrate on the topic. The topic is: do do does breeding is the breeding of these American people terriers the perdition, the destruction of the breed? And the answer in my eyes is a big no. Okay? And people trying to predict that, oh, if you do this, it's eventually going to happen, do that. The destruction of the breed is not, are not talking out of experience. I'm not talking out of uh, uh, logic or, or some sort of, they don't have a, a base to talk about that. You know, they, they, they're just expressing their opinion. And you know how, what they say about opinions. It, they're like um, you know, a holes. Everyone has one. Now, 
I'm going to talk to you with facts, like I always do. The facts are, when the beginning of the breed, the beginning of the breed, was 1900s, let's say, that when the, obviously the 1800s, when the dogs, the, I'm going to call those dogs, the ingredients of, that form the American People Terrier, those came in the 1800s. No, the other guy, this guy, the same that was saying this about the destruction of the breed, he was for a long time saving, saying 1700 or, or 1600s, you know, silliness, incredible silliness because it, it showed lack of understanding of history and what was happening in, in certain. Hey, hey, hey. I hate when he does that. Come here, come here, come here. That's why I have that. So like he he's now walking around like crazy. So um, if you know the history of the breed, you know that you know one person I heard, uh, um, not related to this breed, was talking about uh, that the pit bull came in the Mayflower. I'm like what? The Mayflower came to the Americas in 1620, and in 1620. In England, dog on dog fighting wasn't really, uh, uh, you know, that big. And whatever, again, even even if some sort, even if it was a dog on dog fighting somewhere in in the in England, you know, uh, it wasn't the American people terrier because again, the, the dogs that came in the eighteen hundreds were the ingredients were pit dogs. Yes, because they were already. Uh, being matched among each other. We're talking about the 1800s, not the 1600s. We're talking about 200-year difference here. 200-year difference. And remember, before they did the dog-on-dog uh, matches, they, they were, I guess they had more fun uh, dealing with, uh, you know, a bear, dog-on-bear, or lion-on-bear, you know, Bull on bear, excuse me, excuse me, bull on dog, you know. <clears throat> so, no. So anyway, this guy that's supposed to be a, a more than 30 year in the dogs expert, the guy insisted for a long time that the dogs were in, in the um, in the Americas in, in, in the 1700s, which again, it's ridiculous. And it shows the lack of experience and knowledge he has on the breed. Just because you have the dogs for 30 years doesn't know you learn and you have experience of, of for 30 years. It could be 29 years of repetition out of those 30 years. But again, he, the, that guy, the person is a, just a salesman. So he will push on that whatever um, will probably make him more money. So... You know, uh, I'm, I'm, how am I going to back up my claim that no breeding of dogs? Stop it! He's trying to he's always going going in through that. No. Uh uh. Oh, now he wants to go behind me. Why are you go stay there? Stay there. So no 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 no. Go over there. So uh uh uh. Stay there, papito. So anyway, how, now for the people that have experience with the breed, they, they already know this. But for the people that really hear, follow that individual that apparently he, um, you know, he deleted or I don't know if he deleted or they uh, YouTube deleted it. I don't know which one it was, but um, the channels in YouTube like basically jumped the, jumped the fence, you know, jumped the fence, curved that. Couldn't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth, man. So I am just again helping people out that are a little confused, still uh, uh, um, get confused with the the smokes and mirrors that some salespeople uh, use to confuse people. They talk about oh, I got the merit, ah, ah. And, but again. <laughs> But really, only he is saying that. Nobody else is acknowledging that he has the merits that he has. So, and the merits have, you know, it is it, it's ridiculous because he is calling, saying he's an expert, 
he's trying to sell pets, but the, all the merits that he is claiming are for, for from dog fighting. So you know what the hell? But you, so where where are your merits for creating pets? Uh, uh, how many how how many have uh, you know done something that could say okay that's a merit you know for um, related to pet ownership? I sh uh, you know I don't consider this a merit. Uh, uh, me being able I, if you see my videos you see that I can manage different you know these dogs for example I I can read them I know when to say all right you know, we, they can't be um, and I have said in the past that I don't. You know, recommend bringing two or more uh, American people terriers around the same age because they don't come. They don't find that. Uh, I guess it's a in the canine world. Uh, in the canine world, uh, the mom will help make the older siblings from uh, dogs from a previous litter uh, babysit sometimes. Or, or, or and they have to take care of the puppies, and and they have this instinct, and I try to trigger that instinct uh, when I'm introduced a puppy to the uh, to the adult dogs, and obviously, uh, but that's not the point of the video. So now, why here's the how I'm backing up my claim that breeding. Is the reason the dogs, you know, improved, got better because of pe the public was allowed to breed freely. Not, be it, not it was not the destruction, it, the other way around. Allowing the public access to these dogs uh, created what the American people terror is today. One example. Going back to the 1900s. Now, this is the beginning. The, the American People Terrier as a breed was shaping up. Uh, it's already formed as, as, uh, in moon, many places as a breed. Colby decided to sell to the public. He sold to everyone that came with money, and he sold them the dogs. And this, you know, this Colby dog ended up being, you know, what we consider Staffordshire Terriers uh, today. If you're talking about the AKC or UKC, their Staffordshire is really, um, um, or at least they, they move over there, man. At least, they, you know, they aren't what, you know, what you expect of an American People Terrier today. So, but J John P. Colby Thanks to him, and thanks to the legacy behind him, you know, oh my God, boy, get over there. So anyway, I'm trying to make sure that he stays in, in, in picture, because he's they're the stars of the show. Otherwise, I'm going to go over there with the, your brother. So anyway. Um, another one. All right, I'm just giving him some things. So John P. Colby, and we're talking 19, early 1900s, was he sold to everyone. And thanks to him selling and not putting any restrictions on this, he allowed other people, other ideas to work. And that's the reason we thank the Colby family for most of the, for most, yeah, I don't want to say all of them, because I don't, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not a, that extreme historian, so I'm not going to say all of them. But I, a large part of the bloodline that we have today is thanks to the Colby family and the Colby dogs. Those Colby dogs were uh, were used to create bloodlines, you know, and those bloodlines created other bloodlines. But it would never have happened if Colby decided, oh no, I'm going to. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to restrict sales to just a few people, just to people that don't know anything about the breed, just people that you know don't have a clue about dogs. Now, he, and I'm going to restrict them. I'm going to make sure you can't, you can't breed it. You can't, 
you know, you can't do nothing, anything with it. You just have to have it in, in, in the house. Well, he didn't do that. And thanks to that, we have the, the you have the, so many, uh, so many bloodlines. Now we also have Tudor that sold dogs. Now we have Carver, famous Carver, you know, Carver dogs. When, the, you know, everybody wanted to buy a Carver dog, you got to go to the storage and you buy the, the Carver dog. You know, and, and, and you, you, get, you used to get to, you know, buy the car, Carver dogs and you were lucky. And again, no restrictions. And because of that, I, I, Carver is considered one of the great, great breeders in, in, in the American people terror uh, history. I, we have, can, you know, I'm going to jump. I mean, I'm, I'm going to j jump now to modern times because I'm sure you guys could, the ones that have more experience uh, listening here, uh, will say, hey, you forgot this breeder, you forgot that breeder. Yes, there were all the breeders that were selling for to people that had the money. Okay, and and obviously, no, not all of them. Not everyone did the right thing with the dogs. No, not everybody uh, uh, created bloodlines that bought those dogs. But the allowance, the the uh, having the permission to gain those that DNA, those dogs allow some of them that had the capacity, intellectual capacity, to analyze what they were seeing and working uh, genetically forward. <laughs> Thanks to that, we have the bloodlines we have today. But now, fast forward to the modern times. We have Victor Eichhardt, Southern Kennels. Southern Kennels, um, obviously, if you know, if you follow this other uh, charlatan that is, uh, you know, that Honduran charlatan, um, you know that he talks him up like he's God, that victory. Remember, you have you have him uh, promoting when he was carrying uh, May Day. You know, he was carrying May Day because he was, you know, supposed to make sure that May Day didn't burn his paws. It was a very hot day. So they told him, listen, pick him up. Don't let him walk on the floor. You pick him up. But now he's trying to profit. Almost people, some people think that he has something to do with May Day. This guy, this Honduran charlatan, had nothing to do with May Day. He, if you listen, read the... Uh, if you read the Mayday stories, there's no blur, no hiccup of this Honduran uh, scum in there. But again, for the people that don't know better, you think, oh, wow, he was involved. He was connected. Wow. No, he was just kind of kind of like a yard boy for that day. And because uh, this Honduran charlatan uh, was uh, like this golden charlatan. <laughs> Um, wanted some, you know, wanted to be like a groupie, like a fan, you know, those, you know, the ones that follow the the rock stars and give it gives it up just to be around them, you know. Uh, that's the type of person. Seems like the, the that's the type of person he was. He seems so. Uh, you know, he was trying. Now he's trying to make it, things work. But it's funny because to me it's because he, he, he this guy uh talks up this guy. It talks up the Southern Kennel of Victor Eichhardt, but he doesn't really mention that Victor Eichhardt is known to be the biggest peddler or puppy seller, if you want, if it feels insulting. I don't consider that word peddling or peddler an insult, but if you anybody does, I'm not trying to degrade or, 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 down, or put down uh, Victor. I think that um, I mean I'll, I'll get to him a little bit, but later. But uh, he was the biggest seller. And I remember that his website had like 18, 19 pages of breedings of dogs he was selling, and and May, they, May they had a line of females uh, trying to get to him. You know, so he, everybody had to pay the fee. I'm sure Victor made like at least five hundred thousand <laughs> on this on this stuff. And hey, hey I, I, I don't, 
good for him, you know, too bad for the dogs because obviously these dogs were freaking uh, juiced out. But again, the point is, the guy that is talking about nobody should be breeding just me is following a guy and he looks up to a guy that was the biggest peddler. So how could you be uh, considered the biggest peddler or, or if you're telling, if you're, if you're saying that breeding, uh, overbreeding is uh, the destruction of the breed, how could you applaud that, that he was selling such a huge amount of dogs you know how can you explain that you know and but again i also have to give credit because of the mayday dogs made me when i say mayday dogs i also include the the siblings you know the siblings of, of mayday um thanks to them they created bloodlines uh because victor sold to everyone with money so they get over here man so, uh, you know, thanks to Victor, there were all the blood I created, you know, thanks to that, that door, you know, so. Uh, it, to me, it's just like talking from both sides of the mouth. So why is he doing that? No, let's, let's talk about what is wrong, you know, what's the part that is not healthy for the American people, Terry? It's the breeding without any thought, any crit criteria without any um it, it, yeah, any criteria any uh requirements if you're just blindly breeding for blind you know for, for the sake of just breeding then there's something wrong because you, you know and i'm not saying you have to look for this or you have to look for that because no you you have you know you have everyone that has an idea of what they're looking for and if if you're serious and you're not looking to sell, because if you're selling dogs, you know uh, you're you you're not looking at or, or what you're producing. You you just like all right, okay, you know. So you have to make sure that you're you're you you're doing it for yourself, and you're doing it you know not to sell dogs, and you do it for the right reasons. And it doesn't have to be my reasons. It have to be reasons you know. It just can, yo man. Get over there, man. Jesus Christ. Stay there. So, yeah. So, when you hear these things about, oh, breeding is the cause of the, the, the breed's destruction, you have to remind this guy, well, what about these other dogs in the history, known, very well-known breeders that did exactly what you're saying people shouldn't do? And thanks to those breeders individuals like you, individuals like me, individuals like Mo and Larry, you know, they are able to get, you know, quality dogs and they are able to create whatever they desire. I mean, again, this is this is America. I'm used to a free, a free world. I'm not um, used to being dictated, me putting my money into something and then being manipulated, being controlled on what I can or can't do, you know, especially if you're if you're paying double, triple the amount that the dog should cost because he's putting a little sprinkle of, of, of lies. Oh, no, but these are special. These are special. Trust me. Trust me. But when you look at the pedigrees, you can't find dogs that are four generations, top and bottom, from his breeding. You could only see that you know after two or three generations he has to go look for all the uh, uh, all the dogs all the other people's dogs to and you know to improve the dogs or you know and he he tries to put some uh you know one of his famous dogs famous because he he commercialized his name not because of what he did what he what that dog did wasn't a big deal. You know, it was it was okay, but it wasn't all that. But anyway, I think I've, I've talked enough about this. It's BS about this. You know that the breeding dogs is the destruction of breed. No, 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 no. It, it, it history has shown that breeding of dogs is it has improved the breed tremendously. So, uh, what would have happened if to, if Colby um, wouldn't have uh, these dogs? Well wouldn't sell dogs, then he would have, would have these dogs. 
we will have something different. But anyway, this is Tony Montana signing off.